Well, the captain of a Honolulu-based longline fishing boat shared the story of a harrowing rescue following a fire at sea last week. The men were hundreds of miles from Hawaii, closer to Johnson Atoll, when they jumped ship late Thursday night. KITV4's Catherine Cruz has the first-hand account, new at 10. Captain Randy Wynn stood on his burned-out fishing boat, recalling the moments before he decided to abandon ship. I tried to open the door, go inside, get a fire, and we stopped the fire. But I cannot. A lot of smoke and a big fire. They come out. I tried two times like this, but I cannot come in. The captain said he, his crew, and a federal observer were on the back of the Golden Eagle bringing in their lines when they realized they were in trouble. They worried about the 9,000 gallons of diesel still on board and jumped in a life raft to get away. I have to move far away from the boat because when it enter, we cannot stop and we cannot do nothing because if they fired more, maybe the fuel tank, they blow up. The experienced captain was glad to be reunited with his family after the 14-hour ordeal drifting at sea. Coast Guard and Honolulu fire investigators boarded the Golden Eagle II as it tied up at Pier 16 today to determine what caused the blaze. Coast Guard crews said the fishermen began to worry when their attempts to flag down a passing ship late at night failed. They suspect that ship was the Panamanian tanker, the Forstall Diamante, which ultimately rescued them. They launched a flare, but unfortunately, the, the Diamante didn't see or hear any kind of distress that night, and that was their only way of trying to reach out. Jackson believes the crew's emergency beacon was garbled because it was accidentally set on test mode, but at least it alerted the Coast Guard to their general area. Once it was reset in the morning, it gave the Coast Guard rescuers their exact position. Jackson also credits the ingenuity of the men to devise a sail out of a metal reflective blanket. Kind of like a mirror flashing out there over the water. And that caught the attention of our C-130 crew, which was able to ID where the vessel was, and they were able to bring in the Diamante to the exact location to rescue these cars. Now, the Coast Guard stresses the need to have proper safety gear. In this case, the emergency beacons probably save these men's lives. So, Mariners, if you have one, get it registered. It can make all the difference. Kenny.